Natural gas and mineral oil have formed from the remains of marine algae and land plants, with large deposits accumulating in certain rock strata. Today, using modern drilling techniques and giant platforms, these resources are being extracted from ever greater depth. Many drilling platforms, wellheads, and pipelines exist off the coasts of Trinidad. Mariners are advised to exercise caution when navigating in the area. Offshore vessels are specially designed ships for transporting goods and personnel to offshore oil platforms that operate deep in oceans. The size of these vessels ranges between 20 meters and 100 meters. They are good at accomplishing a variety of tasks in the supply chain. Offshore supply vessels operate out of Chagaramas, Point 14 and Galeota Point in Trinidad. Navigators on offshore supply vessels must be able to navigate safely among the platforms. Nautical charts show us the location of objects to avoid. Here we see the nautical chart symbols for a wellhead and a platform. Marine platforms have a 500 meter exclusion zone around them. All vessels must avoid anchoring close to submarine pipelines. These are nautical chart symbols for submarine pipelines. The nautical chart also has guidance notes for the navigator about oil fields. Oil wells and drilling platforms form a serious hazard to navigation around Trinidad's coast. Some platforms are moved frequently so navigational warnings and notice to mariners should be consulted. Extreme care is advised when navigating within the Gulf of Peria, as the newly erected platforms may not be charted. Vessels should make every effort to obtain the latest corrected charts of the area prior to entry. Soldado Marine oil fields lie up to 10 miles off the coast between Point 14 and Decaco's Point, the southwestern end of Trinidad. Within this area there are numerous drilling platforms and associated structures, many of which exhibit lights. Many submarine pipelines connect these structures and converge on a landing place in Iwas Bay. The oil field has been declared a restricted area, within which navigation is prohibited to all vessels except those connected with oil field operations and small craft. Anchoring, trawling, and all seabed operations are prohibited. The northern and western limits of the restricted area are marked by lighted buoys. Hibiscus and poinsettia fields are among the fields off the north coast. Pui, Gazia, Dolphin, Dolphin Deep, and Starfish fields are among the fields off the east coast. This slide is a photo of Hibiscus platform. This slide shows the path of the submarine pipeline from the Hibiscus field. This nautical chart extract shows the hibiscus and poinsettia fields off the north coast of Trinidad. Angostura is an integrated oil and gas development and has been developed using a central processing platform. The platform is connected to storage facilities at Guayagaya by a pipeline. This chart extract shows the Angostura field off the east coast of Trinidad. An extensive oil and gas field, with production platforms, extends up to 22 miles east to northeast and 20 miles east of Galeota Point. Numerous submarine pipelines lie in this vicinity and extend between the platforms and Galeota Point. Other platforms are situated about 30 miles east-southeast of Galeota Point. The northeasternmost group of platforms in the area are reported to be radar conspicuous. Anchorage is prohibited within 0.5 mile of the platforms. This slide shows the Garcia platform.